Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mehmu Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on discussing some of the basic and important frequently asked interview questions on PHP. And in this video I will be discussing how to connect to MySQL database. Okay, So you may ask this question at the time of interview that write the script for connecting to MySQL database, write the PHP script for connecting to MySQL database. Okay, So there are uh, many ways by which you can write the script to connect with your database okay so there is an approach called as mysql okay and then mysql i which is the improved version okay and then we, you are having pdo approach as well okay so pdo stands for php data object okay so you can write the script for connecting to your mysql server by using any of this method okay here in this video i'll be discussing connecting to mysql database using mysql i approach and pdo approach okay so here you can see i have written down the script for each of these methods here mysql i first we need to mention the server name the server to which i am trying to connect or connect is uh, local host okay local server 127.0.0.1 you can enter local host as well okay and then you need to enter the username for your database okay and then username you need to mention let us say username will be root okay most of the cases username will be root and then you need to set the password okay so here you need to enter the password which they have which you have set for your database okay so right now i haven't set any password for my database so i'll just leave it as as it is okay and then here you need to mention the name of your database db name and then you need to establish a connection you need to create a connection object with your mysqli database okay so you with your mysql using mysqli extension okay, so mysqli i stands for improved okay so here inside this mysqli you need to pass all these all this information like what is your server what is the username what is password and what is database name here you can see i have enter all those information i have passed all those information inside this method okay and then you need to check if if I get any error at the time of connecting with my database server then it will give you an error as connection failed and we are displaying that connection by using die method okay I'm using die and here this one is also a built-in function built-in method okay connection object with the help of connection object we need to check if we have any connect uh, connection error then we will display an error as connection failed okay otherwise we will display connection established successfully or connected successfully message okay so this is everything about uh, connecting with our mysql database using mysqli extension okay so here first we need to mention the server name and then username and then password and then we need to mention the database name okay so all these configurations we have to set and then we need to start connecting with our mysql okay we need to pass all those configuration details inside our mysqli okay and then we need to check if there are any connection errors then we will display connection failed or connection connection failure message otherwise we will display connected successfully okay so this is our thing about connecting to mysql database using mysqli okay so here we have an another example of connecting to mysql database using pdo php data objects okay so here the method is somewhat similar here also we need to first set our server details username and password okay so username will be root and password i haven't set any password okay so if you have set any password then you can enter your password here in this section okay password equals to then you need to enter the password okay and then here you can see i have use a catch a try and catch statement okay if any error occurs at the time of connecting to the server then i can catch that error okay so here that's why i have kept all my connection related coding inside this try and catch block try block okay so if i found any error at the time of connecting with my database then it will return me an error okay then then i can catch that error using inside this catch block okay so first we have to we have to define all our configuration details like server user and password and then we need to create an connection object of type pdo okay so here you can see i have created a pdo object and to this you need to 
mention which type of database you are using or which type of database you are connecting your application okay so here our database is mysql database and what is the host the host is this local host 127.0.0.1 okay and then you need to mention the user okay user is root and haven't set any password so let's use it as it is, as it is okay next we need to we need to set attributes okay we need to set attributes here uh, for connecting to our mysql database like pdo and then this attribute error mode okay and then error mode exception we need to set all these attributes for getting connected with our database okay so if this connection successfully gets established with our database then we will be getting a connection successfully message otherwise it will display a message okay so here you can see if anything gets wrong if we got we get any error then we use this error okay it will display that error to the user okay with the message connection failed okay so this is everything about uh, connecting our mysql connecting to our mysql database using php okay so now let's uh, try to run this script okay so let's go to our editor now let's see a practical implementation of those examples of those methods okay here you can see the first method i'm using is mysql okay so here the same script whatever i have written here on this slide i've just taken that script and i have put it on this uh, editor okay so this server 127.0.1 and then user password and then database okay so the database to which i'm trying to connect that database name is php faq okay let's come here inside my php my admin here you can see i have created a database with name as php faq and now i'll be trying to connect to that database okay so this coding i already explained so now let's come and run our project okay so 127.1 slash php faq okay now you can see it's display me connection or connected successfully message see this is the message which is which it's returning okay if i make any error like say i have put zero or let us say questions answers okay php faq question answers okay save it and now if i refresh it will throw me an error it will it will say unknown database okay so it will display the name of the database it is displaying this error because it's not able to find this database inside our mysql server that's why it will return an error okay so now let's change it and now if i refresh it will give me the correct message okay now this is everything about connecting to mysql server using mysql okay now let's run the script of connecting with the server mysql server using pdo php data objects okay now save it okay now this coding also i have explained this few minutes back now let's run this okay, connection established let's have some different message connection established successfully okay now let's refresh see now it's displaying a connection established successfully this message successfully message is coming from this pdo script okay so here we are successfully successfully are uh, connecting with our database and here we have enter the name of the database okay now let's i'll just change the database name and now if i try to refresh it will give me an error connection failed unknown database php faq1 okay so because the database is not exist in on our uh, mysql server so i'll just correct it and when i refresh it again and you can see again it will give me a message as connection established successfully okay so, so these are two methods with the help of which we can establish a connection with our database server for uh, performing different types of functions okay so if you want to develop any kind of applications and we want to interact with our database server then this is the first step okay so we first we need to connect with our mysql server or with our database and then we need to perform different operations that we want to perform on the data okay so this is everything about 
connecting your PHP application with MySQL server or MySQL database okay so I hope you like this video I hope you get some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and I will see you guys in my next video where I'll be discussing on some other frequently asked question in interview on PHP till then goodbye and thanks for watching